Question 19. Do note, this is a starred question. So that means the way we write our answer down is going to be judged. Now, it asks us to work out the value of y and we must give reasons along the way. So, firstly, this shape here is a triangle and this line and this line are telling us that these two sides are the same in the, in the triangle. So it's an isosceles triangle, isosceles. Okay, so therefore this angle must be the same as this angle and that must be y. So we should we'll probably write that down. Triangle is isosceles. So uh, have two y angles. Now, what else can we say? This here represents 90 degrees. Okay, so we could work out this one here. And we'll call that x, let's say. This, everything around here must add up to 360 because angles around a point add to 360. So we could work out x. So we could say that angles around a point add to 360 degrees. Therefore, x must be equal to 360, subtract the 200, and subtract this 90. Now 360 take away 200 is 160, and 160 take away 90, well let, actually let's just write that out so I don't make a mistake. The way I do this in my head, just to show you, 160, what I would do is I'd subtract 100 in my head to get 60, and I'd add back 10 because I've taken off too many, right? So it's obviously 70. So x is therefore equal to 70, and now, y, well, we know that two lots of y, this y and this y, y plus y is 2y, two lots of y would be equal to 180 take away 70, because angles in a triangle add up to 360. Angles in triangle add, sorry, to 180, 180, plus isosceles, state it's isosceles, and that would be 110. Therefore, 1y must be 55 degrees. And we're done.